Welcome to crime fiction number eight. Could be number seven, could be number nine, but it's going to be focusing on Ken Bruin, an Irish crime fiction writer who is totally original. We need to read more Ken Bruin. Now, I've been reading him for a long time, decades. He writes these uh, Jack Taylor series, detective series, Irish out of Galway, Ireland. Uh, Jack Taylor is an alcoholic and former uh, Garda, former cop, very briefly a cop, but he's a, uh, oh, do yourself a, do yourself a favor and read some um, Jack Taylor novels. I'm reading one uh, an audio book right now that rereading and I'm also reading some John Connolly which is a turn on from a J at Byways at Brooklyn and I've also got some James Herbert in order who Jason turned me on to supernatural kind of detective out of Ireland and then I also have some uh, James Elroy this storm coming up I'm going to be reading but let's stick with uh, Ken Bruin for a bit he's an original his uh, the way he writes on a page is different it's textually like uh, poetry Check it out. You'll see what I mean. The way he uses uh, explanatives, for example. I'll, uh, I should pop one up here. I don't have a book handy on me. I mean, I've got it close by. I don't have it on me. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying it would behoove you to read some Ken Bruin if you're into crime fiction, if you're into Ireland, if you're into um, drinking, if you're into Guinness, if you're into noir, intellectual crime fiction. Um, Jack Taylor is a, a reader. He likes, and he's a, a big music fan. Of my era, and when I say that, I mean, the 80s, the 70s, 60s, the 90s too, but there's got to be some Ken Bruin fans out there. Hit me up. I'd love to talk about uh, Ken Bruin. His earlier novels, uh, the white novels, uh, I've mentioned him before, but he's a great writer. And I can't say enough about him. So, I'll see you in the comments. See you on Boxer. Alan77093. Until then, I remain yours. Ta-ta.